Hi, today we're going to talk about the long and short of division and compare long and short division so we can see just how short short division is and how long long division is. A long division is usually considered by many to be the most complicated and most challenging topic that students learn in elementary school math or any other topic. And so today we're going to contrast using long and short division with a couple different problems. With um, long division, there's a lot of different steps that students have to remember. They have to remember to divide and then to multiply and then subtract and bring down. And there are some of these minders that are out there. Uh, the one that's out there a lot is either daughter or dad, mother, sister, brother. Uh, dogs must sit beautifully is another one. Dracula must suck blood. And does McDonald's sell burgers? And those are all to help students remember, what do I do next? Since it's a complex multi-step process, then each of them remember, what do I do next? So the first problem in using long division is 5 into 70. And so the first step is to divide. So you, you take 5 and you say, how many times does 5 go into 7? And you write the 1 over here. And then you multiply 1 times 5, and you put the 5 here. And then you subtract 7, from, uh, 7 minus 5, and you get 2. And then you bring down that 0. Then you have a second division problem to do within this long division problem. And so your next, your next problem is 5 into 20, and that becomes 4. And you do 5 times 4 is 20, and you subtract and you get a 0. In short division, which is much shorter, you end up dividing, but you do this multiply, subtract, bring down in one step, really using mental math. And so what happens is when you do 5 into 7 and you get 1, you then do 7 minus 5 in your head, and you write the 2 over here. So the next problem is 5 into 20. This 2 over here matches the 20 over here. And so what you're doing is you're, you're then going on to the next problem. Here there were two problems, 5 into 70, and then we're really 5 into 7, but 5 into 70, and 5 into 20. And here what we've done is 5 into 7 is 1, and then 5 into 20 is the second problem. So here's a couple other exam examples. 7 into 168, so in the long form, you look at it, 7 into 16 goes in twice. 2 times 7 is 14. You then do 16 minus 14 is 2, which you see over there. <laughs> and then you, you bring down the 8, you say 7 into 20 is 4, and that winds up being 28 minus 20 is 0. In the shorthand, you're only writing the 2, and the reason you're writing that red 2 is because you're doing 7 into 6 into 16 goes in twice, and then 16 minus 14 is 2. And you're putting that there poised to do the second round of division within this long division problem. Uh, the next example is 8 into 1,000. And so here we do 8 into 10 goes in one time. 10 minus 8 is 2. We then bring down the 0 and do 8 into 20, and that goes in twice. And there's the 16. We, we do 8 times 2 is 16. We then do 20 minus 16 is 4. And bring down that zero, and this is a very long division uh, problem. And then 8 times 5 is 40, and we get the zero at the bottom. In the short division, we end up writing two red numbers here. 8, and eight goes into 10 once. 10 minus 8 is 2. That creates 8 into 20. 8 goes into 20 twice. And 20 minus 16 is 4. And that brings us this last problem. 8 goes into 40 five times. So you can see that it saves you from doing all these steps, and you do need to do a little bit of mental math. Uh, here are two more examples. This is 3 into 5280. This is the number of feet in a mile. And what we're doing is calculating the number of yards. So 3 goes into 5 once. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then our next problem is 7. Um, 3 goes into 22 7 times. 22 minus 21 gives you the 1 over here. 3 into 18 is 6, and then there's a 0 at the end. And last but not least, 7 into 365, how many weeks are in a year? 7 into 36 is 5. 7 times 5 is 35, so 36 minus 35 is 1. 7 goes into 15 two times, and that's from to 1. So you can see short division gives you a much cleaner looking sheet. A friend of mine showed this to her daughter when her daughter was in upper elementary or middle school, and her daughter was very impressed that there were very few marks on the page. In addition to being shorter and sweeter, it can be more accurate. It can be more fun, and so that's a, um, a comparison between long and short division. Thank you very much.